It's not over. Stop the fight! No! Everybody, everybody, I come here for everybody. Kill everybody. I'm the champ. I'm the king. Kill everyone. Okay, guys, we are back with our bets for UFC 277. What's up, Carson? How we doing, my man? Let's get this thing started. Yes, sir. Uh, putting 8.25 units on the line to win about 10. Uh, it's honestly not the best betting card, but if you can find your spots, you know, pick them and play some. So, um, to get in the straight bets, we both like this guy. We're taking take Pantoja here. He's going to be the better overall flyweight. Uh, more powerful striking. He might have a little bit less volume, but uh, and he also should be the better grappler in this situation. Uh, Perez has pretty good wrestling, but Pantoja's uh, submissions are really sharp. Um, and then we got Pavlovich. Uh, I like Pavlovich, Pavlovich a little bit more for one because Derek Lewis is in Texas, and uh, Derek just seems to be a money fighter at this point. I mean, he can KO anyone, but he also can lose to everyone, so... Um, I wouldn't blame anyone for taking Derek, but I think Pavlovich, if you get him at plus money, that's everyone should have gone for that. Um, yeah, and Derek Lewis is plus money right now, isn't he? Yeah, if you want Derek Lewis by plus money, I, I just take Derek Lewis by KO. I don't think he's going to win a decision. So, um, But then moving down, I got Pena. I know that's going to be a controversial pick, but uh, you know, uh, I, do, I will say Nunes looks like she's in great shape, so I think there's going to be less options of her gassing out, but I think Pena's going to have more confidence in this fight, and I think the odds are still a little bit wide for somebody who finished the champion, so I'm going to take Pena half a unit. See you have see if it plays out. Uh, and it's my favorite play of the night. Um, maybe I'm too overconfident with it, but I love this pick. I like Close and Magomed here together. These two are just like I mean, Magomed, I think, is a future champion. I think he's he's that good. He's going to be so much faster than Smith, way better striker, and he's going to be the better grappler, I think, too. And I think you're going to see people are talking about the lines too wide. Well, the lines going to go to, like, minus 1,000 after the first round if it goes there. So, you know, get it at minus 435, I would say. And uh, close, I think he's just going to be better in every department as well. Although, I think Rafa could actually steal a round from... Uh, uh, close, possibly, but for the most part, I think close is a pretty safe pick. Putting the heavy units behind this one, uh, it's our only parlay, of just with fighters. And then for prop bets, uh, I know Carson going the other way, but I got Alves by se- uh, sub round one, just because I think that's his only way to victory. It's going to be like a blitz on the first round, and he likes to pull guillotines. So I think there's value in 900 for that. So I'm just going to take a stab at it. And then you got your prop here. Yeah, Michael Morales by knockout. I mean, uh, it's uh, Fugit's uh, first uh, UFC fight. And he's been finished uh, one time before. So, And if Morales can knock out Trevin Giles, I think he can knock out Fugit. Yeah, I feel that as well. Um and then I got the Moreno fight, the co-main event, going over four and a half rounds. I just think that Kai's extremely tough, and I don't think Moreno's got the power to sleep him. Also, Kai's th- uh, shown way better grappling defense, so I don't think Moreno's going to choke him out. Um, and then Moreno's chin's also like made of steel, so I, I don't expect Moreno to get clocked. He might get knocked down once or twice because he, uh, he had that happen in the Figueredo fight. And then the chick fight, I think this one's going over two and a half. Uh, both chicks don't have a lot of power. They don't brawl. They like to stay at range, and I think they're both going to stay at range with with each other. It should be a close fight. Um, and then you got your parlay. Yeah, if Dober can just avoid the first round submission, I think uh, Alves will probably gas out, and Dober will win a decision. And then uh, Pavlovich Lewis to start round three. No. No to start round three. Um, yeah, I think that fight will be a KO in round one or two. Uh, you just got to hope Pavlovich will push the pace and not, like, sit back. That's the only worry, but I expect him to put the pressure on Derek. I think that's how you're going to beat him. Um, and then my final parlay, this is just like, you know, I like to put a fun prop on these some of these bigger cards, not that this is the best card, but... 
I got the first fight, uh, Oregon Kose versus Blood Diamond not going the distance. I think Kose gets the first round finish, or Blood Diamond gets a second or third round finish on the feet. Um, and then I got the Hamdi and Maze fight not going the distance. Same type of deal, I think. Hamdi either gets winded going for the uh, finish in round one and possibly gets it, or Maze gets it in two or three. And then um, I got Moreno by decision on here. Like I was saying before, Granite Chin, he can go all five rounds. Kai's tough. And then close by decision because Rafa's tough. And I'm just, you know, putting a little bit on this. And it's going to be a bonus on the end of the night if everything turns out well. And, yeah, those are the bets. Um, anything else from you? Uh, we did change our handy pick to... Maze, yeah. Until Maze, yeah. Also, uh, I will be on uh, Johnny K's and uh, Johnny K picks and Blood Money MMA stream uh, for uh, Saturday night pre-fight. So uh, check out that if you guys want to come hang out with us, talk about bets and stuff two hours before the fights, and uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.